Hello Gemini, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your person on your mind reading. Whoever you're thinking about, that is who this reading is intended for. And everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. All right, my loves, I do have a special going for you guys. It is a 30 minute Zoom reading for $50 and everything that you'll need to know about how to schedule is posted on the community page for you or my email is in the description box below. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what we have going on for you guys. Gemini, we are looking at the person on your mind. The way that they're viewing you at this time, we have the Page of Cups. And at the bottom of the deck, their overall energy towards you is the Seven of Cups. Somebody could see you as showing interest in them. Maybe they feel like you are um, you know, playful or flirty or cute or charming. I feel like there's something like that here. There's definitely some interest here. Now, I'm not quite sure yet, Gemini, we'll have to see is this just who you are, you being you? you know, your friendly, outgoing kind of self, and somebody's like, oh, I think Gemini might be interested. Maybe Gemini is into me. Um, or, you know, maybe you are showing interest and someone's trying to figure out, you know, is this is this towards me? Is this just how they are? I feel like somebody is not quite sure what to make of, of the interaction here between the two of you. Now, they are feelings towards you. We see the Ace of Pentacles. I really like that. The Ace of Pentacles says they feel like this could be a really solid opportunity. They see a lot of potential here. They're feeling like there's a lot of potential here with you. I feel like they're just hoping that they're not misreading things. This person's intentions towards you. We have the Page of Pentacles. To me, the Page of Pentacles can definitely be the... Uh, uh, card of the student. So to me, this person could just want to get to know you more. They could want to learn more about you. Um, but in this deck too, he's kind of like flipping a coin and it kind of looks like, you know, taking a chance or, you know, that kind of thing here. I kind of do feel like someone's here, their intention is to like take a chance and ask you out or take a chance and reach out and think, hey, can we get together? Can we talk? Do you want to hang out? Um, definitely somebody's going to be trying to get to know you more. It does feel like somebody's about to shoot their shot though, Gemini. The challenge here between the two of you, we have the Three of Swords. So you could still be dealing with some kind of heartbreak or healing from some kind of heartbreak or the person that you're dealing with could, maybe both of you. Um, but I do feel like that here, where I, I feel like there is kind of like an underlying heavy energy. And for some of you, Gemini, I feel like it's coming from you, where I feel like there is some kind of painful ending that you guys are still, you know, uh, not quite over or still healing. Their next actions towards you is the Nine of Wands. I like it to me. It just feels like a card of persistence. It feels just like persistence to me where, you know, somebody may be able to see that you're a little bit guarded or that you're a little bit, you know, wary. Um, but I feel like they're not letting that, like, they're not letting that uh, scare them off here. The Nine of Wands is a card of persistence. It's like still showing up here, still putting in effort. Potential outcome is the magician. So I do like this. Um, the magician is manifestation. You know, it's, I feel like this is something that you guys are choosing to create here together. There's a lot of potential here, Gemini. I kind of want to take a look at the bottom of the deck too. Yeah, we see the seven of cups here. So somebody's not quite sure where something, you know, like where you, where you really stand or where something is going. Um, they got the ten of wands. That you, you, both of you could be dealing with a lot or have a lot on your plate. I definitely feel like, Gemini, for you, I feel like there's like just still a lot that you're still dealing with, a lot that you could be trying to carry with you. But this could feel like justice. Um, because I feel like this is like a very gentle person where I feel like your heart will be safe with this person. And it feels like after everything that you've been through, it's like, I deserve this. You know, that's kind of how it feels here. So I do like that. Now the signs that I'm seeing for you, I see Scorpio, I see Cancer Pisces. Um, some of you guys, I feel like could be a little leery about this too, because for some of you guys, I feel like the person who broke your heart could have been a specific sign. And maybe this person is that same sign. So like maybe it was a Scorpio that broke your heart and, um, you know, this person could be a Scorpio too. So you could be like, I don't know about that. It could be something like that here for some of you. It doesn't have to be the case for all of you for this to resonate. Okay. Um, but the signs that I'm seeing, I see Scorpio, I see Cancer, Pisces, 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Sagittarius, uh, Gemini, and Virgo. So those are the signs I'm seeing, but it could be any. It is a general reading. So even if I did not mention a specific sign, this reading can definitely still resonate for you. Um, but that is what I have for you. I do hope that this helps. If it resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out some of your other sign placements and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling those personal readings. All of that is in the description box below for you. And most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, you guys can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and then I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, then thank you guys so much for being here, and I will see you next time.